Okay, part three of our fifth bearing build. And we're just going to continue our pattern making. And this is where we left it yesterday. Let me move the camera down. So maybe we've got a little bit better view of what we're doing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is where we left it yesterday. Got this section of it glued on, glued up. We started beveling the inside. This will have to be smoothed up a little bit. And if you look here, you can see the draft on the sides of this. Um, maybe we can see a little bit of the of the draft. And I just put a, oh, five to seven degrees, something like that, which is probably about right for this. The next piece is going to go on top. My plan originally was just to put one more three-quarter inch piece on top. I'm not sure that gives me quite enough thickness for... Um, a bearing you know depending on what bearing we're going to use so we actually turned one more piece and we're going to install it that way if it's too thick we can always just take and I'll set it in the milling table and just shave off the top we can sand it off we can do whatever we want like I say within reason all of these dimensions are in the wind what I'm going to do is glue this piece on and I've went ahead and already cut these pieces they're a little bit oval but they line up pretty nicely on there once everything's set in place and they'll go on there and be a part of that pattern. What I'm going to do is I went ahead and just roughly drilled this out. I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece on and we'll center it up. I've got some index marks in the center. Then we're going to take it in, we'll trim away a little bit more, and then we're going to go ahead and sand our, our angle on here or initially sand it. That'll that'll all be all be adjusted as time goes on. And when we start filling the outside these will all be blended. This part's set to go on top. I'm not going to drill anything here. Um, this will eventually be permanently affixed here, but we'll wait until we figure out which bearing we're going to use and how we're going to actually set that up before we do that. Make sure we've got it centered. Um, I'll kind of initially set this on a block and set our center on the inside and, and mark it so I know what approximate center is and how much material we need to leave on the outside. I believe right now I'm probably going to have to shave a little bit more on the sides. I've got a little bit of an oval here. And I think I can trim that down a little bit, make it more of a circle. But we'll get it set in place and we'll align it before we do anything permanent there. So for right now, I'm just going to glue this on. I went ahead and uh, sanded draft on both of these. So we've got our draft. If you look at the sides of these, we've got our draft going this way. So that's already been taken into account, but we'll, we'll make adjustments as time goes on. As I said before, all of these dimensions are basically in the wind. We can do whatever we want within reason. And the only things we I want to do is I want to go ahead and trim back as much as I can in here where the attachment bolts are going to go through. That way we're not going to bore as much of this casting away when we um, machine a flat seat on there for our bolts to sit on. Um, and we're crowding those a little bit right now. So these dimensions may be a little bit wider than they need to be. You know, if we look on the original castings from the factory way, they don't start in here. Well, obviously, we're, we're strengthening this and living, giving it a little more material, so we're encroaching on these bolt areas and, and alignment pins a little bit, but we still want to leave as much clearance as we can for those. So there again, those dimensions will all be adjusted as we, as we proceed and figure out what bearing we're going to put on. So for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this one in place, and I'm not putting any pins in any of this because we may, or any brad nails, because we may end up and have to take part of this apart. You know, we're, we're making this up as we go along. So we'll go ahead and glue this in place and uh, get it affixed. And then we'll go ahead and sand our inner contour. And that's probably all the farther we'll take this project until we decide on actually which bearing we're going to get. And I'll have to order a couple of bearings and find out which one I want to use for, for this installation. So we'll get it this far, the pattern will be well along basically, and once we figure out the bearing we can finalize all the dimensions on this, we can go ahead and, and round our edges you know, around here and install our fillets, make any adjustments we need to be, and it'll be ready to cast. So go ahead, glue these in place, and go from there.
We'll let that dry for a few minutes and sand it out. Here's our pattern. Pretty well laid out. I sanded somewhat of a bevel on the inside. And um, this is nothing that is set in stone yet. Got a void there, we'll have to fill, which is fine. Um, nothing set in stone here yet. This will, this contour will change inside and out. This piece will go on top. And there again, we've got draft on everything on the outside. All of these will be reshaped as time goes on and filled. And, and uh, oh, top edge is rounded. So we've got a nice, aesthetically pleasing piece here. Um, this may or may not be too thick for our seal and bearing that we've got to go on top, so we may shave this down. I don't know yet, no. but there's our progress so far. we basically got the main contours of our pattern for our fifth bearing. I still have to put a piece on here to match this bottom piece, and it can be a, oh, it'll probably be a half inch thick strip across there. We can add lots of material layer and, and contour it down. That way we've got extra support for um, our pan bolts to screw into, or our third pan bolt that will screw into those three. So we'll put a strip along there, glue that in place with a little bit of draft. Okay. Well, I've been suffering from head and ass syndrome a little bit, I think, here, because we're making all kinds of clearance down in through here, which we realistically don't need. Once I get to measuring things out, what happens is the standard cover, which would be this one, from the base, and we still, no, I guess we don't have pins, from the, where this sits on the front of the block, is just about an inch to the top of the casting so the original casting is about an inch thick and what that accommodates is the seal sits right of course in this opening and is pressed in so the seal bears against the I'll call it the hub that's on the um, end of the crankshaft on the outer end of the gear so of course the gear rides down inside and then we've got the hub that the um, transmission input shaft or flex uh, flywheel whatever we want to call it there is going to bolt onto the end of the crankshaft and then our seal rides in here so we need approximately an inch clearance to make it to that end or a little bit more than an inch clearance and then we're going to have our bearing and then our seal on top of that so I think the seal is probably going, or the bearing that's probably going to go on here is a 464 seal, which is a three inch, accommodates a three inch crank journal. And um, I'll get one of those ordered, a couple of those ordered, whatever. So we're going to have, if we assume an inch and a quarter off of the deck of the block or off of the front end of the block, which we're going to call that deck you know, in an upright position because that's the way we're sitting here. If we come up an inch and a quarter, then from that inch and a quarter, we need the width of that bearing, however we, we need the width of the bearing plus room for the seal. Um, the bearing, I think, will probably go in from the front end. So it will go in and we'll leave a lip on the, on the back side of the casting to stop that bearing from floating on inside. And then the seal will go in and we'll have some sort of a mechanical seal in three or four positions, probably around the front that retains that seal so nothing can come out the front and blow our seal out and lose all our oil and our oil pressure and all that stuff. So we're going to accommodate that. So all this fancy bevel that I've started the contour in here is kind of for naught. A lot of that we're going to fill back in just because we don't need that much space. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to want to smooth all these surfaces. I do want a bevel coming down in here. I'm going to want a bevel here um, on all of these bottom surfaces, especially because I want this to be relatively smooth and I want all my oil to drain as quickly as it can back down into the oil pan. You know, I don't want a little blob of oil sitting in here on, on either side or, or hanging in here. So we're going to want that to flow back down and get back into the pan so it can be recirculated again. Once it makes it through the bearing and has done its job there, I want it to return to the pan. So anyway, that's what's what we're doing. I haven't made any gross mistakes here. This will still go on together. We'll probably have to um, fill in part of this bevel again. And when we're doing um, fillets and everything around the edges inside and out and everything, we'll, we'll do all that. 
But anyway, a little correction. I was thinking I needed more bevel than I than I really did need. Um, I think we're probably going to extend out that much. So anyway, I won't do any more until I get bearings in stock now. But at least I kind of got a direction. I know where I'm going with it. So we'll get bearing and seal ordered. And uh, we'll look forward to that in part four of this series. So if you've got any suggestions for me or comments, leave them in the comments section for me below. If you find this interesting, why well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like them. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out the next in the series of these videos. So thanks for taking the time to watch.